these two pieces right here. Well, first off, you want to sit there and unscrew the shaft because you're going to grease the shaft, okay? You're going to need to do that because you have to do that after every run to make sure the flexi shaft, and I'll show you what the flexi shaft is, all right? You're going to need two 10 millimeter wrenches. One is going to sit there and connect to this piece right here. All right, so you want to put that on there to hold that. And I already pre-loosened this because it does take a little bit of time to sit there because it's tight quarters and everything. So I already pre-loosened that and you're going to want to sit there and uh, loosen that up. Sit there and do the righty tighty lefty loosey type of thing. And since that's loose, you're going to pull the shaft. All right, so you're going to want to sit there and pull off your shaft, the flexi shaft. Now, it's a little snug, so you're going to want to pull that out. Oop, see, see, it takes a little bit, sorry. And you pull out the flexi shaft. So I wipe off the old grease that's on there. Make sure it's nice and clean. This doesn't take a lot of time and everything. The, hard, the longest time it takes is unloosening these bolts because it's so tight inside there. And you're going to want to sit there and make sure that... Uh, this little nut and everything whatsoever is loose and this thing is called the flexi shaft see how it's flexible and this over here is the stuffing tube and I always wipe that off a little bit too all right so what do you do next this is dynamic marine grease I got this one from Horizon Hobby open that up I sit there and pull out a little bit of grease Eh, maybe about that much. It's blue. It's nice. And I rub it around there. Just grease up the shaft. Now, what's really important, guys, is that don't go too close to the end. Keep a little bit here, as you see, clean. Because when this thing sticks back into the stuffing tube up there, you don't want that to have any grease there when you're tightening up because this thing could pull loose when that thing's spinning and you want to make sure you have a tight secure fitting okay okay now that you got your uh, shaft all greased up as you see right here I sit there and uh, plug it back in and make sure like I said keep a little bit off the end there because that goes up into the nut and you want to make sure there's no slippage or anything so you got a little bit of grease you got the grease on there make sure that washer is over there so that's very important and everything whatsoever. You got to make sure you have that. And I'm certainly hoping this all comes out. So you sit there and put that back into the area right here. The stuffing tube. And you push it in. And I know some grease is coming out and everything whatsoever. And you sit there and you just spin it and everything. But the grease is going up in there and you'll be all right. Some people squirt some stuff up in there, but what bothers me about that is they squirt some of the grease into the stuffing tube. And what happens is that it gets on the end of that shaft. And if it gets on the end of that shaft, you got to get up there and you got to wipe it out. And that's a little bit of a pain in the ass. So I just sit there and just go in here. This is fine. Everything. Yeah. And it gets a little snug. And I always make sure that the nut up here is semi-attached, not completely loose. And as you see, the stuffing tube is going, it's going in there. And you just keep pushing, 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 pushing a little bit. And what happens is that you want to make sure, and I'll sit there and wipe this off a little bit, see if some of the grease is coming out and everything. You're going to have to make sure that you leave a little space between here and leave a little wiggle room. and uh, you want to make sure there's some uh, some give in there all right so you don't want to sit there and make sure this is all the way pushed against there and the and the, uh, the rudder or the uh, the prop uh, end is all the way against so you want to make sure there's some looseness so about two meters is good I use a little bit of a rubber mallet and just tap it a little bit in and make sure there's some wiggle room and there's plenty of room right there so because like I said it contracts when this thing gets pulled and the engine is pulling and everything was there this thing gets pulled in so you want to make sure that there is some room for expansion 
So that looks pretty good. That is the main thing that you're gonna wanna do is grease this flexi shaft every single time after a run. About 15 minutes a run, you're gonna wanna do this, all right? You wanna keep that uh, flexi shaft lubed and nice. You don't want it to sit there and, uh, and uh, dry up and everything whatsoever. And it also prevents water from going in here all right, water from in there up into the um, up into the boat itself. Just like a regular boat, you got to do maintenance. If you don't do maintenance, the boat does not last. Okay, so just get it nice and tugged. So the next thing that we're going to do is some preventative maintenance, and this is just very basic and everything whatsoever. So I'm just going to sit there and just follow with me, and I'll show you here in a moment what I like to do about giving a little bit of a uh, grease down into the, uh, the the pin right here if you can see that hopefully you know the pin or the, the the shaft there and over into the shaft of the motor over this side and I put a little three-in-one oil or singer oil or anything whatsoever I do that just to keep it uh, just to keep it nice and uh, you know lubed up now it's up to you if you want to do that but I do it I like to take care of my boats and everything whatsoever or any other type of my RC equipment and I just want to make sure everything is uh, running well because when you do this preventative maintenance as you see basically your boats are going to last or your RC equipment is going to last a lot longer so all right watch this so I got some uh, Singer oil or three-in-one oil it's up to you it's a multi-purpose oil inside here hopefully you can see where my fingers are there's the engine piston so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sit there and take some oil now i wish i had some uh i'm just going to sit there and do this and i know it's a little bit tight and everything all right so i got it there and i'm going to sit there and drop some oil down into it and it's a little tough. I'll spin the prop around a little bit and everything. And you can drop some down into this area here, over to this area. And I'm just gonna sit there and do that. Uh, it nice keeps things nice and lubricated. So the next thing that I actually would strongly recommend is this do is use some uh, CRC marine heavy duty corrosive inhibitor and all this does basically is you spray it on all your humidity areas and you know somebody recommended to me that owns uh, a probo owns the uh, Geico uh, miss uh, miss Geico and everything whatsoever recommended to me just spray it on to your uh, everything you know all your like into your motor and everything whatsoever don't spray on your servo or anything whatsoever and if you see right down in here okay the uh little openings in the motor just give it a little spray right, let's see and looks like coconut <laughs> just give it a little spray down there just spray it and then just spin the prop around spin the prop around and let it get inside the motor and you know maybe you want to turn the engine up a little bit and everything and just spray it but uh give that a little bit of a a, a spray inside you know nothing it ain't gonna harm anything all right it's not gonna harm nothing it's basically doing preventative maintenance. That's all it's doing. Something that I always take a little bit of Q-tip to wipe that up a little bit. That's all it's doing is keeping your uh, engine clean, uh, making sure nothing gets corrosive inside there. You know, just make sure everything is nice and clean. Just spray it down inside. Like I said, there's holes inside the engine over there and everything. And just make sure you spray it in there and just give it a little whirl and you're okay you're also going to check your tubes make sure there's no obstructions no nothing going in through there you can see anything like that otherwise you disconnect them blow them out 
and everything. All right. The other thing is that uh, back to the uh, 3M1 oil. Hoping all this comes on camera. Just gonna just give it a little bit of stuff. Just pour a little in there and let it sit there and uh, soak in to the rudder and everything whatsoever. Just let that go. Uh, you could turn the uh, the boat on its side. Give a little bit down inside here. All right, that's it. Just let it go. You may want to wiggle the servo a little bit. That's up to you. You know, Do a little work. Yeah. I always leave it like that. All right. And as far as the uh, corrosive, uh, heavy-duty uh, corrosive uh, inhibitor, just spray on your. You want to put some. You probably want to do this outside, but I'm doing this inside. Just spray them around your rudders, your nuts, your bolts, all that stuff. Just give them a little spray. And then you let it dry. Not much. Man, it smells like coconut, like I said. <laughs> All right. So basically, guys, that is my maintenance that I do. Now, as far as the uh, uh, the uh, oil in there, after maybe a couple of a uh, uh, couple of runs or something like that, you may want to throw a little dab there, a little bit dab down there. Let it just go and everything whatsoever. You know wipe off some of the excess and everything but uh you know i always clean my boat off and i always wipe it down and everything after every run and uh you know spray uh but uh spray the uh uh uh, uh heavy duty uh corrosive inhibitor and everything once we're over that maybe after every couple of runs and everything you know you want to put some oil down in there keep everything nice and lubed up and everything you know make sure everything it's just a, uh, a way to keep your boat healthy clean and long running okay so that is my maintenance and everything whatsoever that i do for my boat i like to uh, keep it nice and clean and healthy just lubricate it nice stuff <music>